welcome to the channel and uh, today we will go over these numpy operations we have available for you so there are three type of operations that we are going to see today uh, the first one is array with array operations second one is array with scalar operations and the third one is numpy universal function operations first off let's begin with importing numpy then create an array this is how you create an array as we have discussed in our previous videos and then uh, here come the array with array operations these are a few of the operations that you can perform uh, on arrays with arrays for example you can add two arrays first array this is the second array this can be any other array as well for example let me say there are two np dot arrays 11 uh, something you have to be careful about is these two arrays should be of the same length they should contain the same number of elements because if you have elements with different lengths numpy won't be able to perform broadcasting it as you can see here okay my bad first we have to do this and then do this so now it does add these two uh, these two arrays together similarly we can subtract and the arrays and then we have the multiplication we can also perform this and the other thing that you have to be careful in numpy is it will throw a warning like this zero divided by zero is a warning this is something that you have to be careful about because in uh, python in simple python if you do something like this it will throw an error it says zero division error it will stop your program right there and it will say you cannot go on but uh, what numpy does is it just gives you this warning and it says you can go on but there is a issue there is a problem it just warns you and lets you go on and these are the array with array operations okay we can do a revision the next thing is array with scalar operations scalar is any number that you have we can perform these operations with arr let me just zoom in a bit for you okay arr plus two if you do this or plus 100 you'll see that it adds 100 to each and every element of this array if we do arr minus one we'll subtract one from every element of the array and similarly you can perform uh, the addition multiplication division or this taking exponents uh, exponentiation of these elements you can perform all these with uh, numpy arrays the scalar operations and uh, what this does is it says uh, arr raised to the power two this double static means raised to the power two so if we run this you'll see that what it does is it gives you these elements the original elements raised to the power 2 0 raised to the power 2 is 0 then 1 and uh, we have 2 raised power 2 4 and so on 10 raised power 2 is 100 we can do all these operations here so the next thing that we will see is the universal functions so universal functions are something yeah, that we regularly need in our operations we can do np dot exp arr Okay, what this does is it applies e raised ball e raised to the power arr e raised ball arr so this is how it it applies this e raised to the power whatever the number we have in our uh, array and then it applies this on every element of the array then it uh, will return you this result similarly we can apply square root function on each element of the array just with one function and uh, we can also find the max of maximum number in the array the minimum number in the array and we can apply minus one or negative multiplication just like this if we do this it will multiply these elements in the array with minus one or it will turn them into negative numbers if we have a number in the array for example arr1 equals minus one we have a number which is already a negative number it will turn that into positive so this is a handy method that you can keep in mind another thing is we have all these uh, trigonometric functions available to us sine cosine tan 
and code and you know, all these functions that are uh, available to you in numpy we can just say np dot sign np dot course np dot 10 and as a parameter provide the array it will apply this function to each and every element of this array and uh, give you the result we can also do a log okay the trick here with log is that a log of zero is negative infinity so it will also throw this error here so you have to be careful about that so these are a few of the things we went through and uh, now i'll show you where you can find rest of these functions and this is the official documentation of uh, numpy i will provide this link in the description and uh, if you scroll down a bit you will see that all these functions that few of the functions i went over rest of all these functions they are listed here you can see that we have add subtract multiply matrix multiplication division all these functions we have uh, trigonometric functions the list of all these functions are here and uh, bitwise functions your comparison functions greater than smaller than equal to you can check them out here if you need so that was it for this video in the next video we will go over a few practice problems and uh, see the solutions as well so stick around for that video don't forget to subscribe and like this video it helps to keep me motivated to make these videos for you Thanks a lot for watching and uh, take care.